Welcome to today's exploration of the fascinating world of crafting hyper-realistic AI influencers. Have you encountered Instagram profiles like these before? Well, it's important to note that all of them are in fact not real. In this journey, we'll delve into the power of stable diffusion and roop, starting by crafting our initial face portrait as the foundation. Then, we'll harness the capabilities of the roop extension to generate consistent AI influencer faces. To add even more versatility, we'll employ ControlNet and OpenPose to transform our AI influencer into a myriad of captivating poses. Let's embark on this exciting adventure of AI influencer creation. Before we begin making our AI influencer, it's essential to have the ControlNet extension installed. Additionally, having the OpenPose model installed is crucial. We will also use the Roop extension to swap faces. So if you haven't installed both ControlNet and Roop, I will leave the links in the description. When everything is installed, it is time to kick things off. Let's create our face portrait of our fake AI influencer. We have to keep some things in mind when generating the face portrait. The first are the dimensions of the image. We will use a dimension of 512 by 512, which is perfect for a face portrait. Next is our checkpoint. We aim for a hyper-realistic portrait, so we will opt for the realistic vision checkpoint. And lastly, it is our prompt. The prompt will determine the look of your AI influencer, so make sure you take the time to craft the perfect prompt which resembles your desired face. Also make sure the portrait is facing the camera. This way, Roop can face swap much better when activated. For this tutorial, we will create a beautiful woman with red hair and blue eyes as our AI influencer. We will change our batch size so that we have several portraits to choose from. We will eventually provide this portrait to the Roop extension to get consistent faces when creating our posts for Instagram, TikTok, and any other social media platform. After generating our AI portraits, it's time to choose your preferred facial portrait and proceed to the next step. In the upcoming phase, we will use this selected facial portrait as input for the Roop extension to generate images featuring that particular face. Let's take a closer look. To activate Roop, simply scroll down within the Text to Image tab and access the Roop expansion panel. Within this panel, you can upload the portrait you've chosen as your favorite from your creations. Ensure that the selected portrait features a fully visible face with no obstruction from hair. Don't forget to check the Enable box to ensure that the Roop extension is turned on. Now, let's try generating some images with the Roop extension turned on. It's crucial to understand that while the Roop extension will replace the face in the generated image with your chosen portrait, it typically doesn't alter the eye color and definitely won't change the hair color. Therefore, remember to include these specific features in your prompt when generating images. So for our case, we will include the following in the prompts. Ginger hair, red hair, freckles on face, blue eyes. In our specific scenario, we aim to capture a medium close-up portrait encompassing the waist up. Consequently, we incorporated these keywords into the prompt and made some slight adjustments to the dimensions. As you can see, when the Roop extension is turned on, the face closely resembles our initially chosen face portrait. To enhance this further, we can harness the power of the OpenPose model within ControlNet. For illustration purposes, I'll utilize my personally crafted Dynamic Poses package, now accessible on Civit AI. So let's download the poses. Returning to the Stable Diffusion user interface, navigate to the ControlNet section. Here, upload a preview image from the Dynamic Poses package, then click both Enable and Pixel Perfect. The subsequent step involves using the Open Pose control type, so go ahead and select it. Given that it's a full body pose, opt for Open Pose Full as the preprocessor. After selecting this, upon clicking the Run Preprocessor icon, you'll observe the processed image appearing as a stick figure. Feel free to experiment with prompts for clothing, just as I did. Additionally, you can enhance your results by including prompts such as smiling, which I used for the middle picture. As you can observe, the open pose packages effortlessly maneuver your character into various poses. This tutorial has provided the groundwork for building your own AI influencer. Hope you learned something and see you in the next one.